Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? Uh, it's a beautiful, what is it, Tuesday morning, off to work. Um, Got to earn a living, if you know what I mean. Um, anyway, oh, by the way, these are Persoles 2720s. Um, James Bond, you know, Casino Royale, I believe you are, man. I, I'm a sunglass buff myself. Um, I like sunglasses. Um, her soles are nice. I got some nice Tom Ford. You'll be seeing those in my videos. But um, I got some Ray-Bans also. You've probably seen. But anyway, enough about sunglasses. Now, <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about was the Datejust, the Rolex Datejust. Reason why I'm always bringing my watch up, you know, the 1600, 16200, is I love the way it fits. The fit, the feel, the finish, the look, the durability. Um, it's got the date, it's got the time, it does everything that I want it to do, okay? It's a 36 millimeter, which is perfect for my wrist, and to be honest with you, to perfect for most people's wrist, okay? The trend for big watches, I believe, is, uh, is gone. Uh, it's going away, especially that, you know, the 41 millimeter Datejust 2, I, I don't know if I heard it was discontinued or they're going to, um, and now they're starting to make the day date smaller. I think it's a 40 now. And I still believe 40 is probably the perfect size, okay? It's got to be the perfect size. That's why Rolex stayed with a 40 millimeter sports watch, you know, for I don't know how many years, okay? Forever, okay? Um, but anyway, so is the day just for old people? No, it's not, okay? Um, if you look at the new day just with the super case, that is not an old person's watch. That is a young man's watch, okay? Uh, you, you can have it with the Jubilee uh, bracelet. You can have it with the fluted bezel, with the uh, smooth bezel. My 16200s, you know, the older one with the smooth bezel. And I, the reason why I like the Oyster Band, okay, in, and I like the Jubilee bras bracelet, I do, but the reason why I like the Oyster Band is due to the fact that it's still sporty, okay? It's still a sporty watch. The smooth bezel makes it still sporty. Um, do I go diving with it? No, so I don't need it to rotate. I don't need a rotating bezel um, I just need to tell the time and when I want to tell the time it's always there and it's super accurate Okay, always accurate. I can put it on the winder pick it back up. It's within a second or so Okay, um, I cannot wear it for a few weeks and pick it up and it's on the winder off of the winder And it's still with you know holding great time. Okay, that's the beauty. Okay, that's the beauty part. If, I, if it was an ETA movement, 2824, I, unless it was a Rolex regulated, meaning Tudor 2824, unless it was one of those, which I've noticed they can, you know, make them pretty tight, okay? Um, any other one, they're all over the place. You'll find it, you'll pick it up, it's five seconds slow, five seconds fast, six seconds, seven seconds, whatever it is, and that's annoying to me, okay? Um, Anyway, is it an old man's watch? No, it isn't, okay? It is not. Um, it's classic. It is, um, they've been making it since 1945. Um, tried and true. I mean, how many people have, or how many watch manufacturers have replicated this watch? So many. They're always looking to go after that same style. It, it's it's um, it's a benchmark in the, in the uh, watch industry, okay? Um, I don't know. In my opinion, it's the best. At the same time, you know, you don't need to go out and buy because it's it's going to be a dress watch and a sports watch. So you don't need to go have two watches. You don't need, you know, unless you're diving, you don't need a Submariner. Okay, you don't need any of that. It's sporty. It's a hundred meter uh, water resistance. Okay, um, the clasp is very tight. It's never come off my wrist. It never. You don't need a dual safety clasp on this watch. You don't, okay? Um, I know the newer ones, though, like Simon Crane's uh, Oyster Perpetual, that's a really nice bracelet. The way they've integrated that uh, locking system on there, that newer bracelet, that's very nice. That's that's uh, pretty high end. That's nice stuff. And, you know, if I was ever to get a newer one, obviously it would be with that bracelet, okay? Or even the, Ju the newer Jubilee. But uh, anyway, the 36 millimeter, um, Rolex Datejust 16200 or any variant, you know, even the 234 is a great watch, okay? Um, mine, for instance, has Loom, okay? It's got Loom, uh, Super Luminova. It's pretty bright. Um, it's not like real big or anything, but it's bright and it lasts for a very long time. 
Um, if you got one with the Roman numerals, which I think is a cool looking watch, but it has no loom. And I like to have loom. If I'm going from inside to outside or whatever I'm doing, I want to have loom. Um, also, I don't know. I can't say enough about it. It's, it's one of the better watches out there. Um, I'm going to post a video as soon as I have time to make it. But uh, it's going to be with my watch and a, um, uh, a friend of mine's watch, which I believe his is fake. Um, I had them side by side. And I'm going to show this in a video, but I had them side by side. I asked him one day, hey, let me see your Datejust. He has a Datejust too, okay? Uh, it's a fluted bezel. Um, I don't know the reference, I guess. Uh, I don't know what the, the 42 or the, the Datejust 2 reference number is. But anyway, um, I believe his is fake. And the reason why is that his Cyclops, when you look at the date, it's not magnified like mine. Mine's magnified. You know, a lot of the fakes, or actually I'd say all the fakes, you can't pick up the, the magnification, magnification very well um, of the date will. So anyway, but I'm going to show that in a video. He doesn't want to admit that it's fake, but I'm pretty sure that it is. But uh, whatever. Oh, well, that's that's what he wants to do. You know, just like how people want to wear Steinhardt's. I don't know. But anyway, hey, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. I'm at 121 subscribers. Thanks again. And uh, share, like, um, you know. I need more subscribers, please. Thank you very much. You guys take care. Have a good day. Bye.